morning class. How are you guys doing today? Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so today we're going to be learning context clues. We've been reading Lord of the Flies, and there have been some words, you know, that we've come by that come by that we didn't understand. So a way for us to, uh, you know, figure out the word or is using context clues. So does has anyone know what a context clue is? Um, is it something just to like help us figure out the words that we don't know in the sentence? Yes. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give you guys the formal definition of a context clue, and that is hints that an author gives to help define a difficult or unusual word. Okay, so when you use it, when you use context clues, you don't have to limit yourself to when you're just reading literature. It can be when you're actually, you know, talking with friends or just like a professor, and you don't understand uh, a word they're using. You can continue to listen to the sentence, and you might be able to find like hints in the sentence to help you understand that word. Okay. So there's usually um, three types of sentences that help with learning context clues. And so the first one that we're going to use has an explanation. And so with this sentence, there's something like there's an explanation in the sentence that's going to allow you to understand what the word is in the sentence. So the word we don't know is expensive. Jordan White, do you mind if you please read the first sentence for me, please? A conch ever so expensive. I bet if you wanted to buy one. You have to pay pounds and pounds. He had it on his garden wall in my auntie. Okay, so since we've been reading Lord of the Flies, what does pounds mean? Money. Okay, so if you have to, okay, what in this sentence is going to help you understand what expensive means then? Pay pounds and pounds. Okay, so what does that mean to you? What do you think expensive means since you have to pay pounds and pounds of money? It costs a lot. Yes, expenses means costs a lot of money. Okay, so wasn't that, didn't that, wasn't that helpful to be able to use that? Awesome. Okay, the next sentence is, has an antonym. And does anyone know what an antonym is? The opposite of the word. Yes. Thank you, Gibbs. So, actually, Gibbs, do you mind reading this sentence for me? Uh, Piggy snibbled and Simon shushed him quickly as though he had spoken too loudly in church. Okay, so there's going to be opposite something opposite of the of this word that's going to allow you to understand what it means. Is there anything in here that will help you understand what snibbled mean? Uh, loudly. Okay, awesome. So what is the opposite of loudly? Uh, quiet. Okay, yes. <clears throat> the definition of snibbled means to cry and sniffle softly. Okay, so now what is the definition of snibbled? Cry and sniffle softly. Awesome. Thank you, guys. So our last um, sentence is going to have the definition in the word. The definition in the sentence, I'm sorry. And so, Amanda, do you mm -hmm. mind reading this for me? Um, some act of God attacked him, perhaps, or the storm that had accompanied his own arrival had banked sand inside the lagoon so that there was a long, deep pool in the beach. Awesome. Okay, so if the definition is in the sentence, does anyone know what typhoon might be? Okay, and um, what do you think the definition of typhoon might be? A storm. Yes. Okay, the definition of typhoon is a large, powerful, and destructive storm. Okay, so those are our three examples. And so the next time you guys are having trouble understanding what a word is in a sentence, what are you guys going to use? Context clues. clues. Thank you. Okay, so, you know, sometimes... You know, you want to make spice it up learning, and so I decided to make a riddle for you guys to remember context clues. And so, when I think of context clues, I think of a mystery, okay? And so I made up this song, Clue, Clue, Where Are You? Clue, Clue, Where Are You? C stands for continue, L stands for looking, U stands for utilize, E stands for everything. Clue, clue, where are you? Clue, clue, where are you? So, can we sing that together, guys? Yeah. Okay. Clue, clue, where are you? Clue, clue, where are you? C stands for continue. L stands for looking. U stands for utilize. E stands for everything. Clue, clue, where are you? Clue, clue, where are you? All right, thanks you guys, and don't forget to use context clues when you're having trouble reading and you don't understand a word, and don't forget the rhythm, the rhyme, clue.